Hey guys, Tech Manager here with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to talk about five Safari settings that you should consider changing on your iPhone if you're using the latest version of iOS 15 or later on your device. And the reason why you might want to consider changing, we're going to explain in this video so that you can have more privacy and control over your browser experience. So Safari is great and all, but there's some settings that Apple sets as default that are more geared towards advertisement and for other companies to use your data but you might want to take a look at those settings and we're going to show you what we mean by that so first thing first is let's open up uh, settings here and then scroll down into our section for safari here so all the safari settings are listed here and you'll notice here by default there's a bunch of settings going on and they might be good for a regular user but if you're more on the conscious side of looking at what exactly is happening when you're browsing on safari this is what we need to look at and the very first thing we're going to look at is this option for search engine so by default you'll see the search engine is google which is great and all and everyone uses google and nothing wrong with using google but if you're looking for more privacy, another browser to consider is DuckDuckGo. Recently, DuckDuckGo has been sort of on the rise here when it comes to privacy. Again, it's a personal choice, again, between Google and all of the other popular ones. But DuckDuckGo has known for if you're a person who really, really care about privacy, probably might want to change to DuckDuckGo as your default search engine of course you can still go to google on your safari browser it just means whenever you type something on your default browser it's going to use duckduckgo instead of google again personal preference you can leave it at google or duckduckgo if you want more privacy now moving on uh, to the next settings that you want to consider is going to be down below here where you have privacy and security settings and you'll notice here there's one for prevent cross-site tracking again this is the one that you'll need to make sure it's turned on and by default it should be turned on but we've seen some updates that turned off this and that is basically when you're browsing between uh, different sites it will prevent them from tracking what site you left from and what site you're going sort of for privacy reason you might not want to be tracked between the sites that you're going so we're going to turn that on by making sure it's green the next settings that you want to consider is hiding your ip address again this hiding your ip address uh, can potentially be uh, dangerous depending on where you're coming from so by default it might be off but you want to do is from tracker so you want to make sure your ip address of your phone is Pretty much uh, hidden from uh, the tracker itself very important saying to have now the next one you want to do is this one where you block all cookies again you're going to turn this on you'll notice here you'll get this message where it might not work uh, correctly but this again is just the general warning doesn't really affect anything we're going to block all cookies and for all blocking all cookies you want to ensure that you clear your history and data website data so anything you autofill or history that you have so far for this one to work going forward with new, with those sites you want to do that is cleared and it will clear all that cash uh, that was saved on your phone again good thing to do again for privacy reasons as well now the last settings when you want to consider on your safari is this location services and this one again it's going to be really much similar to hiding your ip is hiding your location from all websites so by default you might have it where it allows for all websites that might not even need it but can pretty much track your location what the option that we want to do is ask so if we do ask it will ask every time a website actually needs a location they'll ask you to give access instead of just blindly giving them their location again just enhancing privacy for your device and internet browsing experience so those are the five settings that again you might want to take a look at again we explain the reasons why again you don't have to follow exactly the way we have set but those are usually the best uh, security practice whenever it comes to browsing on safari so those help you guys you know, make your device more secure and hopefully you guys found this video helpful if so make sure that like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time